Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another announcement. Oh, it's going to be another tournament coming. Yes, I'm sure as you all noticed over the weekend that I actually reached a thousand subscribers. And yes, I've already, I suspect I've already posted the thousand subscriber video that all the content creators do. You know, just to say thank you for all your lovely support on that. But, you know, the cringe bit, the cringe bit. But now we're going to get down to business because... As I said many, many times, and I'm sure you all remembered, I did promise I would do a tournament as soon as I reached a thousand subscribers. And I've reached a thousand subscribers. And in case you didn't know, I reached a thousand subscribers. So, here's the tournament. Yes, it's a thousand subscribers special tournament. And I'm going to go through all the rules and conditions for that. So, before we start, I would just like to say, please, well, thank you for all your lovely support for a start, because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do these tournaments. And without me, you guys wouldn't be able to take part in these tournaments. See, we're all connected. We're connected, we are. We're all connected in, like, the circle of life. I'm around to do tournaments, and you guys are around to compete in my tournaments. Without one, the other cannot survive. Well, except for I'll kind of survive, but you lot probably will survive as well. But you just have to go without tournaments. And I'll have to go out we and I'll have to go without hosting them. And I love hosting tournaments. <laughs> All right, and enough jibber jabber. Claim it. This well, I don't know what to call it, but before we start, please, I would recommend that you watch the whole video, so you don't miss out on anything. If you do have any questions, pop a comment down below. I'm sure I, I'm sure I can answer your question or query. And let's begin, shall we? Yes, there are a few changes this time because well, I'm not going to do the same thing again, am I? Because. I want, I want to do, I want to add a little twist. There's always modifications and twists with every tournament I do to either improve it or if, or if people don't really like it, disapprove it. Like last time, we'll have a free versus free format because that's what you lot voted for. That's why I had that vote ages ago to see which format you wanted and everyone voted for free v free. A little bit bummed out to be honest. Well, I'm not too bummed out because I, I, I don't mind which format to do, but I would have preferred tag team format. So yeah, but for, but we wanted 3v3, so we got 3v3. Uh, I should also point out that I know there are other tournaments going on at the time of me announcing this. So yeah, you should definitely check out those other tournaments as well. But look at it, look at this way, you get two tournaments to look forward to. It's awesome because why have one? Why have one tournament when you can watch two of them at the same time? Ooh, and I generous. So yeah, definitely check that tournament out as well. It's actually a really enjoyable tournament. I've really enjoyed it. Really, really good. Anyway, enough about that. On to my tournament. So yeah, like last time. Well, this depends on how many people enter. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna have quite a. Lo I have a feeling it's gonna be a 64-man tournament. And should that be the case, we're gonna have eight groups of eight with the top four in France. If we, if I do have 48 or less, then it'll be this one, obviously. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have quite a lot of entries because. When I did my last tournament, a lot of people wanted to enter just after the deadline was passed. And those that lot of people joined joined the Discord server just after the deadline passed. So that they and they didn't watch my videos. So they have no they had no idea that I, I was doing this. So I'm looking forward to seeing them people return. There are quite a few people I would like to see join. I'm not gonna name names, but yeah, this is going to be a cracker. This is going to be an absolute beast of a tournament. So I and I definitely have a feeling it's going to be 64-man tournament, which means we ain't going to see our winner till New Year. Put it that way. So yeah, point system for the group stage will be the same as normal. Three for a win, one point for a draw, and zero points for a loss. And last time, we did actually have a draw between Arctic Warriors and Danix Tactile, I think it was. You get a bonus point if you win, and you only have two, and you have two dinos left. You get two bonus points if you win without losing a dino. And you'll get a losing bonus point if your opponent was down to their last dino and their HP is below half. The first change, first real change, is that I've once again banned the use of egg cards, cluster cards and combined cards. Because last time I actually allowed, allowed the use of them, but nobody used them. So I'm just going to keep them banned. I don't think anyone wants to use these. <laughs> okay, here's one of the bigger changes is that I am allowing the use of character cards. However, these character cards can only be Gekizan's second plus character cards, Spectre, Goma, or Space Pirate Seth. The reason that is the case is because some of the character cards give unfair boost to the dinosaurs, 
like if you use the right dinosaurs, some certain character cards give boosts to the dinosaurs and I didn't really find that fair. Whereas these guys don't give any sort of stat boost at all. And don't worry, all pretty much all the characters in the franchise will be available to you since the Gekkas and Second Plus characters. You have Max Rex, Zoe, Dr. Taylor, all the Alpha Gang members, Dr. Z, Go not Goma, Gavro, Shear and Fool's Cap. And then Spectre, Goma and Space Pirate Seth aren't in Gekkas and Second Plus but I'm still allowing the use of them. So I think this is going to be very interesting and yeah, one character card per team, thank you very much. And if you don't name a character when you name your team, then I'll just, then I'll just use default. Then I'll just go with default like I normally do. Okay, another change. Well, an addition, I, I should say, instead of a change. The top eight competitors from my last tournament, from my last tournament, I should say, not like someone else's, will be placed into separate groups. So that is Ultimate Dino King, Lausp, Ultimate Dino Queen, Ghidorah, Slifer Sky Dragon X, Lepoke, Nopi, and Darius. They will all be in separate groups, and then everyone else will be placed in groups randomly. Except for moi, well, including moi, because as your host, I will be in group A. So whichever group I get put in will be group A and then so on and so forth. Because as the host, I should always play the first match. That's how I feel anyway, and that's, and that's how it is in real life tournaments. Usually the host will be the one to play first. Yes, all the, like normal, all the dinosaurs will be allowed to be used. Certain conditions for certain dinosaur types. Okay, here's another change. Only two dinosaurs with 2000 strength maxed are, elite, are allowed to be used per team. So only two only two golds will be allowed basically this change is interesting so you can't have a team of golds and i think this is going to be an interesting change and we might see a little bit more variety although in fairness we saw quite a bit of variety in my last tournament i mean let's face it baryonyx was the most common dinosaur in the tournament somehow so yeah maybe we'll see a bit of variation with people's teams and speaking of variations you're not allowed to use the same team as you did last time because that's boring and I, I know I know people are, will do it. I know certain individuals will do it. And I'm not allowing it. You can you can use two dinosaurs from your previous team, but not all three. So say for example your team was Acro, Suko, and Maya. You 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 can use Acro and Suko, but not Maya. Or you could use Maya and Suko and not Acro. Or Su Suko and Maya. You get you get the you get the point. You're not allowed to use the same team. Deadline for all the entries will be on the 14th of October. No exceptions, no extensions are given to anyone. And if you would love to end, if you would like to enter, please leave a please leave a comment down below this video with the hashtag thousand subs tournament. And please keep it to this video. Don't leave comments down below on my other videos. Just keep it to this one, please. So then it's easier for me to go through the comments, pick you out, and make sure you're entered. Or you can just message me on Discord, Discord username Stranger10. Or you can just email me. Again, email is in the description below. And that is how you enter the tournament. Right, now to get on to the interesting bits now. All the different rulers, rulings and, well, I wouldn't say limitation, balancing acts that I have put in place and there are some changes you're going to see that in a minute okay so for the move cards first off this one's pretty much standardary now life force swap is not allowed life force swap 2 op can insta you can insta win with it it's completely unfair okay here's the biggest probably yeah i would say the biggest change in this tournament death fire because i am going to allow the use of death fire however Death fire can only be allowed, only one dino is allowed to have it per team. This is basically because if I allow unlimited uses of it, people are just going to have a team of fire dinosaurs and fire dinosaurs are pretty much going to dominate tournament teams and I don't want that. I want to see some variety. So yeah, only one dino is allowed to have death fire per team and the following dinosaurs are not allowed to use it. So that will be black T-Rex because, well, it has built in death fire already and armor dinosaurs because they kind of have that instant kill ability with the di with the Dino Tector and the Spectral Arm. If a Death Fire does resolve, that next round will be a tie unless the person who used Death Fire is down to their last Dino. So that's a little bit of a handicap for using Death Fire because it needs it needs a handicap. You need to have some restrictions to Death Fire because it is that powerful of a move. 
so I will be interested to see how many people actually use Deathfire in this tournament. Okay, another change. This one may, this one will probably surprise a lot of people. Defense boost and elemental power. You're only allowed to have one of these moves per dino. So you can't have defense boost and elemental power within the same within the same moveset. Because when I tested this combo, it was quite overpowered. If you recall, in my Strachosaurus video I did months ago, I used this combo and Strachosaurus barely took a hit. So yeah, these two moves are not allowed to be used on the same dino. You can use them, but not on the, not in the, within the same moveset. Alright, here's another change. Any moves that remove opposition moves are thus. Shockwave, off the top of my head, Shockwave, Critical Block, Ocean Panic... Uh, banana surprise. I think those are the four moves that do move removal. I, I'm sure there's others. If I can't, rem if I, if I'm forgetting, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few others. But yeah, if move removal does take place, then next round the person who used the move will always go for the move that cannot lo lose. So, say for example, you use shockwave, your opponent loses scissors, then you will go paper. That is mandatory you will go paper because that is the move that you cannot be beaten at. your opponent cannot go scissors and then your opponent's move will be randomly generated but you will all you will go paper however the slight change from last time this will not take place if consecutive move removal takes place so if you get consecutive shock waves off next time this won't take place moves will be randomly generated like normal because i did notice that consecutive shock waves seem to be very overpowered and it kept denying your opponent hits, which I didn't think was fair. But I still kept the effectiveness of the remo of the uh, move removal effects. But I didn't want it to be consecutive and consecutive, so then the so the opponent doesn't have a chance to get a hit off. <laughs> Seemed a bit unfair. Okay, and um, this is this is mandatory as well. Special moves like Crimson Flame, Neptune Stream, Final Thunder. Gaia Mount in Dino Force and Air Raid Storm are not allowed to be used on Super Dinos because those moves are annoying to use as they are, and using them on Super Dinos can be quite treacherous. Okay, now for this dinosaur type, so we'll start off with Armor Dinosaurs. Again, can only have one per team, but unlike last time, you can either have it second, it can either be your second or third dino. Because last time it could only be a third dino. This time I'm allowing you to have it in second. Make things a bit more interesting. Could open the door for more bonus point. And if you do use an armored dinosaur, then the other dinosaurs cannot be secret, black T-Rex, or a super dino with 1600 or more strength. And if you're unsure on the super dinos, there's plenty of lists and such online that you can use to find out which super dinosaurs are in the game and which ones you can use and which ones you can't. And again, if you get the ultimate move off, next round will be a tie unless the armored dino is the only one left. So kind of like death fire there. And yes, those are the conditions for the armored dinosaurs. Okay, now for the rest. Secret dinosaurs. You're only allowed to have two per team. Well, that's mandatory because as I said, you're only allowed two goals per team and all the secret dinosaurs have 2000 strength. So you can only have two anyway. If two are used, other dino cannot be, well, it cannot be armor or black T-Rex, because, again, these two dino types, all their dinos have 2,000 strength, so you can't use them anyway. Or, you, or a super dino with 1,800 or more strength is not allowed to be used. However, if you use one, then the other dino cannot be an armor or super dino with 2,000 strength. So that, that spice things up a little bit, spice things up a little bit. All right, now four, we'll do alpha dinosaurs, because this one's actually a new implement implementation I've put in and some of these I'm sure some of you have already seen on the discord because I've <laughs> I've posted little teasers so yeah alpha dinosaurs are going to be interesting because if you do use an alpha dinosaur it must include at least one alpha move and I've listed all the alpha moves by here so it must include one of these moves just to spice things up a bit, a bit. and I think and I think alpha dinosaurs should have at least one alpha move because they're alpha dinosaurs <laughs> It's kind, it's kind of like that hidden attribute. Okay then, now for Black T-Rex. Black T-Rex, if you if you do decide to use Black T-Rex, the other dinos cannot be an armor dino or a super dino with 2,000 strength. But you can use anything else. Deathfire, as I said earlier, cannot be used on Black T-Rex, but you can use Death... You are allowed to use Deathfire on another dino if you wish. And only normal scissors moves will be allowed on the Black T-Rex, so no fire moves for Black T-Rex. It's a scissors move, but you can use fire moves for rock and paper, just not scissors. You have to use a normal move. 
I'm suspecting Black T Rex might see a bit, a bit more play. Might, might see a bit of a resurgence because I, mean, I don't really see much of this guy in my tournament. You know, if people don't want to use it, and they don't want to use us. Fine, but hopefully these changes will enable it to see a bit more play, like the like the um, other Dino types. All right. Now for the complex one, the super dinosaurs. This one's always all. This time, I am actually going to allow the use of three super dinos per team. That should spice things up, shouldn't it? However, you're only allowed to use one super dino with 1800 or more strength if you have three of them in your team. Okay. If multiple supers are used, then other dino cannot be armor or black tier. So if you use two super dinos, you're not allowed to use an armor dino or black T-Rex. Okay, for in the for Super Eocarcaria and Super Fairy, if either of these two are used, then the other dinos cannot be armor, black T-Rex, or a secret dino. And lastly, like normal, the awaken mode will be activated when a player states how many times this icon here appears. So if you want me to activate it on the third time this icon appears, then I will do that. So yeah, please, please do state that because a lot of people seem to forget about that. So if you do use a Super Dino, please say how many times you want this icon to appear before activating the Awaken mode. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, one last thing to go through, just some example teams to help you out. Yes, we have the table format here, showing where all the different Dino types can go in for your team. So Dino 1, you could use Secret Dino, Normal, Super, Alpha or an Anime Dino. When I say anime dino, I mean Chomp, Ace, Paris, Terry, Spiny, Tank, Gigas, Arminus, and Maximus. The normal versions, not the armored ones. Just the normal versions. That's what I mean by anime dinos. And then for your second dino, you can have armor, normal, super, alpha, anime, secret, black, or black T-Rex. And then again, these two can be any. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So remember, remember, if you want to enter, make sure to enter before 14th of October. This will be hope. This will hopefully be when I finish my Earth tournament as well. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Yeah, don't worry. The Earth tournament will be finished before this tournament starts, and I hope to finish it before the fourth. Well, on the 14th actually. So then we can have a complete champions team as well, which will be entering in this tournament like last. So again. If you want to enter make sure to leave a comment down below please let please leave it down below this video so i don't have to go searching through all my other ones for entries and make sure it has this hashtag as well or or make sure, make sure you just enter in time because last time we had quite a few people that didn't enter in time and wanted to enter and it sucked for them but again just make sure you enter on time okay make sure just so you don't miss out because i don't want anyone to miss out i want everyone to take part i got a feeling that we're gonna have a lot of combatants combatants this time but yeah that's that's it so yeah make sure make sure you've watched this video fully and good luck in the upcoming tournament and until then this has been your host stranger gamer and i'm signing out